Ryan, was it difficult over the course of the offseason for you to relinquish some of this personnel decision-making control? There, there's no relinquishing any personnel decisions or control. Like, yeah, like this, it's literally just finding a way to incorporate, um, you know, maybe Aaron's thoughts and make it, and really explain to him why we're doing what we're doing. I think that's a big part of the things that he's got some grievance on. He just maybe just doesn't understand exactly why we did what we did, and we did, and we probably didn't communicate that well enough to him. I, I guess the reason I asked that is because you you said that Randall's here to, to make him happy. He's, mm -hmm. he's a player that might you wouldn't be here if not sure. for Aaron. So I, when I say relinquish control, I mean it like that. And does, does that make your job any any harder to do? Oh sure, yeah. I mean, I mean, there's lots of things that make my job harder, right? And so certainly, um, but at the same time, this is kind of a unique player and a unique. This I think a unique circumstance. All right, so you guys just saw what Brian Gudikins had to say in a press conference that happened this morning, Thursday, July 29th, a little bit earlier today, probably an hour or so ago. Um, that was just a little clip of the entire thing, but I thought that sort of put a lot of the big parts sort of Brian Gudikins was talking about in that press conference. So in this video, I want to go through sort of my opinion on the situation that's going down between Aaron Rodgers and Brian Gudikins, um, because, you know, there's been lots of speculation in the past, but I really think it's, I feel like there's a lot clearer picture of what's really going on here um, after watching Aaron Rodgers like 30 minute press conference yesterday then watching Brian Gudikins come in and sort of talk a little bit about it today. So I sort of want to go through my opinion on what's going down right now. So first off, you know, we have Aaron Rodgers in, in yesterday's press conference coming in and basically talking about how it, he just feels like he hasn't really had much say in the past. He really focused on, you know, one of the biggest things is that he sort of wished that he had a hand in free agency when it came to, you know, recruiting players um, and sort of, sort of the just I guess working that way in free agency. And um, today, someone mentioned that, and Brian Gudikins said that, um, you know, talking about this season, the Packers didn't really have many resources this season for free agency, so you know there wasn't really much to do there. Um, but he also said that when we were aware this season, so basically he became aware this season that Aaron Rodgers wanted to have the say in the free agent conversations. So it seems to me that maybe Aaron Rodgers didn't make that clear. And part of me is wondering if maybe Aaron Rodgers is upset that the Packers haven't come to him in the past and said, Aaron, is there anyone you would like us to look at? Is there anyone you would want us to get? And I know that, you know, Aaron Rodgers isn't the GM. He's not, you know, part of the Packers management. But at the same time, when a guy's been in Green Bay and done what he's done for the Packers, I, I almost feel like you would assume maybe they would come and sort of ask him sort of what he's thinking a little bit without Aaron having to go there himself and say, this is sort of what I think could be smart. Um, so it just sort of seems like there hasn't really ever been that much communication between Aaron Rodgers and Brian Gudikins in the Packers front office. And I know that's understandable, obviously. You have to treat, you know, if you're a GM, you have to treat it like a business. And Gudikins was talking about that today as well. Basically saying that, you know, this is a business. There are hard decisions we have to make. Um, sort of talking about the players in the past that have left, you know, like Jordy Nelson, Clay Matthews, those kinds of guys. Um, there are going to be hard biz business decisions at the end of the day. But my take on Aaron Rodgers and sort of what his mood is, is that he wishes that they probably would have come to him first because um, maybe he deserves that. That's not exactly what Aaron Rodgers said. That's sort of what I took away from what Aaron Rodgers had to say yesterday, that he wants, you know, he wanted some say. And so now it seems that Brian Gudikins is aware that Aaron Rodgers wanted to have some say when it comes to free agency. And as you saw there, you know, he's open to communicating with Aaron Rodgers. And as we saw with Randall Cobb coming in, Brian Gudikins confirmed it today. The reason Randall Cobb is here is because of Aaron Rodgers. And so I think maybe you could be thinking, okay, well, if Aaron Rodgers was able to do that, then Brian Gudikins is going to come in, get tons of players Aaron Rodgers wants. But seeing from what Aaron had to say yesterday, someone asked, you know, you know, people are going to be thinking that you are making all the moves. And then Aaron Rodgers basically was saying, that's not going to be the case because he doesn't think he's going to have any more control the rest of this season. And then Brian Gudikins today, as you said, as you saw it earlier in the clip, said he is not relinquishing control to Aaron Rodgers. He basically just wants to, you know, thinks he needs to communicate better with Aaron Rodgers. So to me, it doesn't really seem like, you know, things are that great between Gudikins and Rodgers. It doesn't seem to me like, um, I just don't know if things are going to get resolved between them to allow Aaron Rodgers to come back in 2022. That's sort of just my thought right now. Obviously, things can change in the future, but right now, there seems to be a little tension between Rodgers and Gudikins and sort of their ideas on things. Um, and so that's definitely going to be interesting to continue to follow along with. Um, but, you know, my take is that Randall Cobb coming to Green Bay was because of Aaron Rodgers, obviously, and that seems to be potentially a one-off thing. And part of me is wondering if, you know, the whole reason 
um, Gudikins did that was Aaron was basically, maybe he was saying, if Randall Cobb isn't coming back, you know, that's my one thing I want to have, um, you know, to be, to come back with the Packers this 2021 season. So Gudikins was like, okay, if it's either, you know, not having you this year without making this move or having Randall Cobb, um, you know, and having you, I'll take that option. That's sort of what I think happened. Obviously, we don't exactly know if that was talked about. That's sort of my assumption and my opinion on what went down. Um, and so definitely there was a lot to take away there in that Brian Gutekind's, you know, entire press conference. So you should def definitely go find that on the actual like, official Packers channel. They put out all of their, you know, interviews out there on that channel, which is where I got that clip from earlier in this video. Um, but I just wanted to give my opinion on the situation, what's going down between Aaron Rodgers and Brian Gutekind's. Obviously, there's lots of potential things that are going down. Everyone has their own opinion. So I'd be curious to hear your guys' opinion on what's going down. What do you think? Do you think anyone's at fault here? Do you think um, things will get figured out? Who know, Who really knows exactly? Obviously got figured out for 2021, which I think is important. And um, I think both sides just want to come in here and win a Super Bowl. And Aaron Rodgers was saying he's ready to compete. He wants to come in, win the Super Bowl. Devontae Adams wants to come in, win the Super Bowl. And so I think, you know, even though there is some tension going on and we don't know what the future holds, the Packers still got a good shot at the Super Bowl this year. So that's definitely a positive as a Packers fan that we do have Aaron Rodgers back. So I'm going to hold on to that one. But um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more Packers content on this channel. More news, more training camp updates, signings, injuries, all that kind of stuff will be broken down on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video as well. It really just helps push the video to like more people. Um, so if you would do that, that would be really appreciated. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys next time.